Alrighty guys, welcome back to Minecraft again, and you can see that I still have um, this stuff, this Minecraft, minecart stuff in my hands. And that is because, well, I built those things over there so that my nephew could build this. And uh, he didn't really have the greatest of luck figuring out what I told him to do in the video. So, I'm going to keep build this time, I'm going to do this video in much more of a do this, do that kind of way. That's a cool pit. Anyway, so, if you want this to be your mine, okay? We're going to have one, two, three, four, five five regular rail and then place one detector rail and then place one two three powered rail okay and I guess it doesn't really need to cover all that up but then you can make it go as far as you want it doesn't really matter at that point and then just power that rail okay Okay, now right here is where we're going to work with some other stuff later, but right now let's put in our pistons, shall we? Mm. Now, this piston is going to go right here. That piston is not going to go right there. It's going to go right there. One down where you can put a piece of stone on top of it, right? This one, it's not going to go right here, but it's going to go right there. Where you can put a piece of stone on it, and when you extend those, they're going to close up, right? So now, we need to do the wiring, right? So, let's go down two, right? Go down two, place a redstone right underneath that. Now, right underneath there, that's where that will power this, okay? So then, we would like a very, not very large, but a pretty decent sized space in here, right? Now if you have this, this redstone will power this block, which will power this. See? That then gives you the opportunity to do this. Now, if you remember last time, um, if you remember the other video, I did this backwards. So, if you place one block right here in front of this redstone repeater, and then place another redstone repeater fully, uh, fully, I guess it's, it's called, you put it on four ticks. You, you delay it all the way, all the way delayed, and you run it into this. You place one wire, you place one wire, and you delay this all the way. So now how this works, okay, this powers this block. This block should power this redstone. It also powers this, which then powers this block. So the, the redstone signal goes first through here, you know, kind of quickly. And then it gets over here to this and goes that way. And then when you turn it off, this redstone power, these two, this redstone power gets turned off instantly, but this still has a signal delayed which delays it a little bit and then turns it off. And then this one also has a little bit of delayed signal, which then turns this one off. So that's how that works. Okay, guys? So, now we need to make sure we know where this is. So, I'm just going to go like that. Okay, so that's perfect, right there. Okay, excuse me, I'm a yawning guy right now. Now, the way, the easiest way that we have, that I have found, to turn this on, 
to invert it like we need it to be. So you place a block and a redstone torch. That will invert it, right? Now, place a redstone repeater here and a place of dust here. No delay. Don't make this any delayed. And then the piece of dust. Then put a lamp. Uh, not a lamp. A torch. Put a torch there on top of this block here. Then we are going to make a redstone torch tower chain thingy. And let's get rid of the rain because nobody likes the rain. Then you can do, whoops, wrong one, that right there. This thing right here is, is a redstone ta torch tower is what I call it. I don't know if that's actually what it's called. This redstone torch here powers this block, which turns off this torch, which doesn't power this block, which leaves this torch on, which powers this block, which turns this redstone on, which powers this block, which turns this on and pushes it down, right? Ta-da! So now, let's check to see. It opens it. And then it waits a little bit and closes it. Now, we need this signal right here. We need that wire to reach here, okay? So, we have two options here. The easiest one we have would be to invert it, but we don't want to do that, really. We don't want to invert it. Somehow, it seems much more cramped in here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to keep on going this way. Go up. Go up and go up. Ta-da! Now let's test it, and you'll see, uh, well you just saw, but, dunk, 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 almost instantly these guys open and that guy's pushed out, and then there is a little bit of a delay before that guy goes out and those guys are pushed down, okay? So that is how you make this half, right? Now let's turn this on. And now you want from this point here one, two, three, four, five blocks of rail, one block of power rail. But we're going to go like this real quick. And then three blocks. Did I say power rail? One block of detector rail. Then after that, three blocks of detect. Um, powered rail. Oh. What? That's cool. This is actually a pretty cool little spot here. Eh. Anyway, so then you're going to put this here. So this is powered, okay? So now we're going to place one piece of redstone here, and we're just going to dig into the wall and dig this way. Okay, we don't want to break that, so we're going to have to go around. In fact, I would say go even two away from it, just to be safe. Just so that nothing breaks it, you know what I mean? Okay, so we... Excuse me. We need to come in right here. That's where we need to be. So let's break that guy. Get rid of him. We'll close this guy up. And now let's just carry our line on down through here. Okay. Now place a piece of stone right above that and a detector rail right there. Now it's closed, right? And it didn't work, right? That's because, well, we didn't put in any 
of this stuff. So put a minecart on top of it, grab your redstone repeater, and you're going to find that there's a spot right here where the redstone isn't lighting up. So place your redstone uh, repeater there. No delay. Don't put any ticks of delay on it at all. You get inside, and it works. Ta-da! There you go. Now, the only thing that is left for you to do is to cover this bad boy up. Now, here is something you need to be very careful about, okay? This guy, you can cover this guy up in any way you want. So, let's get creative here, shall we? Um, do we have any stone brick? Okay, so let's pretend we are dwarves or something like that, right? And we're going to make this cool dwarven thing, right? I don't know. Let's just do it like that. And then like that. <gasps> See? You break that block right there, and it all gets destroyed. So, if you're going to mess with that stuff, you got to place it back, okay? Okay? So, this stuff right here is best to just leave it, how, like, pretty much alone. But you can decorate it a little bit like that, you know? It's, it's not the bad thing. As long as you remember to put that thing back, it's fine. This right here, do not put anything there. That breaks the machine. Do not put anything there. That breaks the machine. Okay? Unless you're going to deal with... <coughs> Excuse me. Unless you're going to deal with half slabs and stuff. If you put a half slab right there, you'll notice it still goes through. Okay? But it is easier, in my opinion, just to go like this. Just go like that. Cover the hole up. Just like that. And then it gives you even, you know, a little bit bigger space to, to you know, cover things up. I don't know, to, to try and make things look cool, I guess. And I completely forgot about... <coughs> excuse me, I guess I'm in my throat. Right there. You can put this one there, or you can put that one there. It doesn't really matter. Oy. But you can make this thing look just about as cool as you want to now. Uh, just about. As long as you don't break any of the wires, you are free to do whatever you want. So, let's say you wanted to do that. And have this cool entrance into your mind. You can do that. And it still works just fine and you can wait it'll shut down and now inside here you also want to cover it up click click all done now everything is covered up and it all works instantly from either direction and it looks pretty freaking sick if I do say so myself right so there were a few things that I think might be useful. Now, these are not... Well, this is not really part of the actual design. This is an add-on to the design that I have recently discovered, I guess you could say. And it means that this, is, this line right here is going to have to move. Okay? So what this is, this is a lock on this, right? So, what the silly thing. Okay, so we are going to place one of you right there. I'm going to have to put that piece of uh, railroad back. Okay, so now something has been funny with this. Sometimes this will activate just by being too close to redstone that's activated. I don't understand why that is. Okay. So now, if we wanted there to be, let's say there's going to be a 
little bit of a wall here just for fun like there doesn't have to be actually let's say we want the wall to be where is this guy we want there to be a thing right here okay right there let us put that guy there not that guy that guy there you see it turns off it turns them off okay this is pretty important for this anyway okay now see it's kind of close to everything but that should be fine we place this torch and this is why this is gonna have to move okay because then we're gonna have to place this and then we're gonna have to just run that wire into him okay now when we turn that on when we turn it on it's in the right place to allow us to go through okay when we turn it off the machine doesn't get any power the power goes here but it doesn't enter this block which means it doesn't power anything okay so you can lock your base you know and if you don't want anybody coming through except for you you can lock your base which means you might want to put it in a train station right here um, so that you can unlock it and then continue on your way um, this is good if you're going to try to keep mobs out okay now to connect this back up is no big deal you simply go underneath the guy right just make sure you go far enough that you don't break it and it doesn't reconnect okay that's all that's all that's needed here is to go down deep enough that it doesn't reconnect okay so now we need to count this out one two three four five six the whole six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen okay sixteen is the point where it doesn't have any more power so it should be that block but that doesn't help us at all so we want to put it here okay so just put it in the middle of this and that should power it so let's go give it a test shall we we I did it wrong. Now I'm stuck inside the machine. No! Whew. Okay. That was kind of scary. I almost got stuck in there. Okay, so let's do this the right way. You gotta have some speed. Okay, yeah, it works. As you can see. It still works, okay? So adding that, this little thing here, doesn't really hurt it too much. Um, if you don't want it to be like this, kind of double inverted or whatever, um, you can change that. It doesn't have to be this particular way. I mean, I guess it it could if you, if you just want it to be that way. You know, it, you can, but you could also just do this here right there because you see what this will do is this will invert it so that when this is off you know this is off then it's in then you're able to use your 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 door but when you turn it on it turns off Okay. So it all depends on what you want and what you what you need basically. Okay. Let me see if I can do this right here real quick. Mm, nope. So it needs that. That's fine. Anyway, that was just aesthetics. I'm weird like that. So
So, there you go, guys. There is a nice little fancy thing. A nice piston door. And it is a little bit more... Put this block here, put this block here. Um, so hopefully that helps. Um, I know my nephew tried to build it, and he had some trouble building it. So hopefully that helps building it. Um, I don't know if that will help at all, but maybe, maybe not. And it also gives you the option of putting in this lock here. You know, I mean, you can even put in a little thing that tells you whether it's locked or not if you wanted to. Like here, I'll show you. Um, let me get a redstone lamp here. So now, if this thing... If we put the redstone lamp right there, or I guess right there, when it's on, I mean, when, when it's on, that lamp will be off. Okay. And when... That means you can't go through. All right. But when you can go through, the lamp will be on. So, you know, it's up to you. There are some pretty cool things you can do with redstone. Anyway, that... What? Twitch broadcasting unavailable. Hmm. Cancel that. Anyway, so there we go. There we go, guys. Whoops. And the world just happened. There we go, guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you guys learned something. And, uh, yeah. This is Glorfi signing out. Hope you guys had fun. I know I did. Don't break too much, and we will see you later.